Cidade de Belém is regarded as the city of Lisbon's emblem. Equally, it's a reminder of the importance of Portugal as a military and naval power in past centuries. visible and in the form of a ship rising out of the sea. This fascinating construction symbolizes the spirit of discovery of its creator, King Manuel I. Hundreds of sea voyages to India and Africa embarked from here. The mouth of the river Tejo, spreading the word of Portugal's newfound glory around the world. The influences of many countries are to be found in the construction of this fortification. Byzantine, Venetian, and also Arabian, even Indian building elements combine in Torre de Belém in monumental manualism style. cellars of the underground terraces were originally used as a means of defense. Massive stone blocks hermetically seal the interior from the outside world. In order to protect the approaches to Lisbon through embrasures facing the open sea, cannons point threateningly against advancing enemies. openings are also reminders of times when political prisoners languished in chains. During high tide, these dungeons were frequent witness to a gruesome death by drowning. A narrow stone step leads from the terrace of the prized six-cornered pewter fortress, like the bow of a ship towering up from the sea. This monument was built to commemorate the 500th day of the death of Henry the Sailor and is also a reminder of Portugal's naval power. As sole ruler and one who personally never actually set foot on a ship, he arranged numerous adventurous voyages to South Africa. the north, the view is toward the outskirts of Belém. The name, an abbreviation of Bethlehem, is a reminder of the importance of this area of land which was only partly saved from the effects of a huge earthquake in 1755. Buildings are reminiscent of Mohammedan turbans, which crown the roof of the four story tower. Oh. 
Grotesque figures decorate the external walls, and heavy towing machinery indicates the power required to pull the drawbridge. The symbolic goddess-like statue of the Madonna, the Lady of Success, on the terrace of the fortress, is dedicated to Portugal's sailors of discovery. A typical Venetian element is portrayed by the pillar-decorated balconies the cross of Christ Knight's order and the Portuguese royal emblem emphasize the important significance of the building. Since its renovation, the roof with its pyramid-shaped pewter-decorated chapel stands out prominently over Lisbon's harbor. Here, the discoverer Vasco da Gama yearned for distant lands and was inspired for his major voyage to India. King Manuel also had a good view over the city. first floor, the Royal Audience Room, the Sala Rekia, stands out with its plain but tasteful decor. A symbol of royal power, the floor and ceiling layout and the figurative and ornamental decor of all elements of Manualism authority are clearly demonstrated. As the light of European culture, Manuel I wanted this monument to be known as his brainchild. Artistic influences from all parts of the globe blend together into a charming ensemble. The Torre de Belém is a monument built in a country which gave it the means to be the starting point for many important voyages of discovery. And especially, a road to the new world, discovered for the rest of Europe. <laughs> 